Voted Britain's best celebration cake business, Slattery's of North Manchester have been supplying Liz Taylor's parties for the past three decades and can make any cake to order, however outrageous. If you wanted to buy a copy of your dress for your wedding, it would cost you around about £4,000. She's a keep fit freak and then I'd like her in workout gear on a pair of scales. With the clock counting down on nutritionist Marianne's 40th birthday, Liz is phoning through her cake order. And the colours of the invite are um, black and like a shiny purple. And then do a few bits and pieces like weights and um, of gym equipment on the top of the cake and that sort of thing. We could do that, couldn't we? Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait to see it. John, thanks a lot. I'll email you the details. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, Take thank care. Bye-bye. Oh, Terry, we've got another last-minute one here for you. Yeah. Um, so, whatever you were going to do with this, we're going to do this with it now, all yeah. right? So this is for uh, TLC, uh, and we're we'll doing a 12-inch square cake. The theme's sort of black and purple. Uh, she's a Keep Fit fanatic, nutritionist. Um, so, uh, uh, they sent us a picture of her, so I've just printed that off on there. Lizzie's idea is they'd like a stood on a set of scales. And then we'll, we, we'll use purple and black on the ivory as the decoration around the cake. Yeah, great. Do it that way. All right. OK. With Marianne's cake on order, 23-year-old intern Lily heads to a prop warehouse to find the coolest cocktail containers. I don't know how I'd really describe these old gentlemen. Liz usually comes up with these ideas, but she's come to me. This warehouse contains props that are used at parties, films, TV shows. I'm just having a look today to get some inspiration, really. Having only worked for Liz for three months, this is Lily's big moment to prove herself. We could maybe put Marianne's face on a mug and... We couldn't really use this because it's not hollow inside, but if I could find something quite similar that I could make a really cool cocktail, maybe do a bit of smoke coming out of it. Should open it up maybe and put the drink in there. Literally taken about a thousand pictures on here, but it's used up all my memory. It wouldn't surprise me if Liz would have had one of these back in the day running the old business. Action. In central Manchester, Liz's clients, the Benjamins, have brought their 13-year-old son to a bar with film crew, the Jacobson Brothers. The Jacobson Brothers, Pinky and Perky, you can't tell them apart, have got an amazing product. It's a bespoke DVD. You become the star of the show. They film you in and around wherever you want. They choreograph it and they beam you into the party. So you want to make a grand entrance, you make it with the Jacobson boys. Great. Every Jewish mother wants their boys' bar mitzvah to be the best, and the Benjamins have a plan to trump everyone else's. Dylan, tidy your room! These party videos cost up to 5,000 quid. So the concept here is that we're producing an entrance film which will actually be played on screens around the venue as though it's a live video, as though it's been happening in live action beforehand. And then at the very end of the film, as on the film Dylan walks through the doors, he will, in actuality, walk through the doors. Don't believe me, just watch. Mother Charlotte is behind the film's concept. Bar mitzvah means that he's now become a man. And obviously, at 13, you're not a man, but it's kind of, we're doing it in a, an, an ironic way. Pretend that Dylan's having a night out on the town with a couple of honeys that he's picked up in his limo. Just something a little bit fun and different to entertain the guests and also to amuse me. One arm and then the other, Andy. Lovely, yeah. Undo his button for me. I'll smile, I'll enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, we'll loosen it off. That's right. Hi. I've worked at a few bar mitzvahs yeah. before, so I know that this type of thing happens. And every time I go to one, it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But I think this is the biggest that I've done. Great, thank you very much. <laughs> Dylan's become more and more relaxed around the girls, which has given more and more natural footage. So, yeah, it's been good. I think to put our own individual stamp on it with a little bit of Benjamin humour is definitely, definitely the order of the evening. And, and I really hope that we've achieved that. And if we've not, then I think there's a problem with everybody else rather than us because we've certainly enjoyed ourselves and that's the main thing. It's all about the Benjamins. 